And as always, I have placed a link in the description down below to this product in case you want to get one for yourself. But with that being said, let's take a look at the Innova 5610 OBD2 scan tool. And on the front of the unit, we have a high resolution color screen with an approximate size of three and a half inches. The body of the tool is made out of plastic, but the buttons themselves are made out of rubber and have some nice tactile feedback to them. And on top of the unit, we have the connector for the OBD2 cable. And on the bottom of the unit, we have a mini USB port. And on the back of the tool, we have a little compartment for the optional three AA batteries. And to connect to the vehicle, they have included this OBD2 cable with an approximate length of six feet and what's pretty clever and I never seen this before is that on the OBD2 end they have a built-in light to help us find the OBD2 port in our vehicle and connect this thing correctly to it and for documentation we get a little quick star guide that shows how to download the optional app and connect it to the tool and the Innova 5610 also has OBD1 support with the optional OBD1 adapter kit which covers Chrysler, Ford, GM, Honda, Toyota, Lexus and these adapters can allow us to interface to older vehicles and includes this extension cord with an approximately length of about five feet and the kit also comes with this little carrying case so we can store our adapters for safekeeping. And here's the Nova 5610 OBD2 scan tool and the very first thing that happens when we connect this to the vehicle is that it's going to check the vehicle for any kind of issues, any DTCs and give us the results of that check. And as you can see the tool has identified that there is no problems with this vehicle. It has identified that it is a Toyota but it also gives us a little summary screen right here and this is helpful especially for smog status where it tells us the status of each system and you can see that all systems are green which means we are good to go as far as smog inspection but what's also different about this obd tool is that we have shortcuts for a lot of the main things that we want to do with the scanner for example if there were any codes i can press the shortcut to delete the codes and erase them that way clearing my check engine light we also get a shortcut for the freeze frame information in case we had any dtcs because they are none right now we don't get any kind of freeze frame information we also get a shortcut for system status and this shows us the systems that are available to scan with this tool the very first one is the global obd2 as you saw there were no codes on there but if i wanted to check if i had other issues such as the abs we can also go into those systems and check them as well and in addition to abs we get srs and we get tpms and finally a toyota om enhanced now the all module scan option is an interesting one because this is going to run an entire check of the vehicle and check all the systems for you and confirm if there are any problems that way you don't have to go to any individual systems and check them individually you can just let the scanner do all the work and give give you a summary and screen at the end and the all module scan is complete and as you can see 29 modules were scanned and the results of those scans are in this summary screen which allows us to erase all the codes at once or review them individually to see what problems our car is actually having and i know this vehicle is going to have issues with the tpms so let's take a look at that and sure enough it has detected that the PPMS sensors are not within range and that is because I removed them off this car. And if for some reason you did not need an all module scan, you can select modules individually. And again, what modules are gonna be supported are gonna vary depending on the vehicle year. So newer vehicles have a lot more modules than older vehicles, but I'll scroll down through this list so you can see the different modules that this tool can show. Moving over to the shortcuts on the right hand side, we have live data on the bottom. And this is a shortcut that's gonna take us automatically to the live data that's coming from the vehicle and as you can see this vehicle supports 58 parameters again the parameters that you're going to be able to see on here are going to vary from car to car depending on how many sensors does it actually have and the tool also supports graphing the data that's coming from the vehicle with that graph button and there it is <laughs> this is the engine rpms now we can potentially see multiple graphs at the same time by going into that two graph mode or going into the four graph mode also notice that if we press the live data button one more time we get a live data menu where we have a shortcut to the prior screen that i show you the custom live data we can also select whether to record by a specific dtc trigger whether to record data manually or whether to play back data and the next shortcut is the menu one and this takes us to a lot of the fun stuff which is the activate the test function and this is where the tool can behave like a bi-directional tool and we can trigger specific things on the vehicle this particular tool supports six activation parameters 
for the Toyota Corolla. And we also get a special function feature. Now the special function is also going to vary from vehicle to vehicle. In this case, it shows me the special functions for the engine and there are two of them for this Toyota Corolla. And we also get a service reset feature that allows us to turn off things like the oil reset light, do a battery reset, steering angle sensor calibration, electronic parking brake, VPF, ABS bleeding. And the next feature is service check. Now this feature is helpful if you're trying to check on the consumables of your vehicle, in this particular car, the brake pads or the engine oil. And on the OBD mode test option, we get OBD monitor test, EBAP test, and emissions monitor test. Moving over to battery and alternator, we can run a battery test or we can run an alternator test. We also get a DLC locator library, which is where is my OBD2 port located? And if we tell the tool what vehicle we are working with, the tool can tell us where to find the OBD2 port. We also get a vehicle information option, which allows the tool to pull VIN information and show us what modules are available on the vehicle. We also get a tool library where we have the different meanings of the different icons, a library of DTCs, which is if I have a code, what does that code mean? And I can find the make for my vehicle and enter that code information and the tool is gonna tell me what the DTC is for. And finally, we get the tool settings where we can adjust the brightness and we can also turn off this annoying beeping sound that you get every time you press a button. And you can also see the description of live data, change the languages of the menu, and also change the unit of measurement that this tool uses. And finally, the last button on the top allows us to connect or reconnect to the vehicle or if the tool is disconnected from the vehicle, allows us to turn off the tool entirely. But you'll also notice that if I go back into the tool when I'm away from the vehicle, the tool has saved the history or the diagnostic history of the vehicles that I have worked with. And as you can see, here's the first one that we saw, which is a Toyota Corolla. That one had no issues. And here's the second one that I have diagnosed. That one did have four issues detected in them. And I can see what those details were. Here's the first one. Here is the second code, the third one, and the fourth one. And we also have that summary screen indicating which systems are green, which are good to go, and which ones are red, which ones have issues. And we can also see the freeze frame information that this tool has extracted from the vehicle. And the Repair Solutions 2 app is available for Android devices and Apple devices. Now what this optional app does, it downloads the diagnostic history from the tool onto our phones. And now we have a report of each vehicle that we have tested on here. But here's the coolest part of the app, and that is the fact that I can go into the vehicle and not only see the actual codes that were found for it, but also see the most likely fix for that code. For this particular example, it even tells me what part is the one that I can buy to fix that code, which is really cool. And I have not seen that level of detail in other apps for OBD2 scanners. You're also able to see the freeze frame in information and you're also able to see the status of the monitors on the vehicle that was diagnosed. And the app also finds the applicable technical service bulletins and recalls for the vehicle. Now this information is available on the internet, but having to go to a website and search for it is not as convenient as having it on this tool directly on here where we can see all that information in one place specific to the vehicle that we are diagnosing. And we also get an upcoming maintenance features that identifies which is the maintenance items that are coming up on the vehicle and again identifies the part number and suggested place to get that part from. And we also get a predicted repair feature which shows you what potentially parts you may need in the future as well that might break down. And this is based on the library of information that Innova is building because it's receiving information from the app for multiple people and they can see which ones are the items that are most likely to fail on this particular vehicle. And another feature of the app is the ability to play back the data that we have recorded from the vehicle. And I have four parameters right here that I have recorded. And I'm gonna go ahead and play them back. I can see them right here, or I can graph them if I wanted to. We also get the ability to overlay graphs on top of each other and select which are the PIDs that we wanna see graph together and play them back again, just like if we were connected to the vehicle, but in the comfort of our phone, perhaps later for additional review and troubleshooting. And that was the Nova 5610 bi-directional OBD2 scan tool. Now, 
where can Innova improve? I would really like to see them include two things. One, I would like to see them include some sort of case. Could be a soft nylon case, something to protect the tool while it's inside of my toolbox. I would also really like them to include some kind of manual. It doesn't come with a manual and the tool is fairly explanatory, but you kind of would like to know, okay, what are the basics of the tool? Now, I do want to point out that if you are a first time user to bi-directional scan tools, you're going to love the menu and you're going to love the shortcuts because you very quickly can find the option that you want just by going once or twice and there it is. However, if you are a long time mechanic used to the old traditional menus where you have to dig down a menu and go down a level and keep going down a level until you find that function that you need, at, at first the menu is going to throw you off. But once you figure it out how they have laid it out, I think you're going to like it. And who is this tool for? I think this is going to be a great tool for anybody who's learning how to diagnose their vehicle or how to use advanced functions, bi-directional functions, because of the way that they have laid out the menu menu and because of the lower entry price point of this tool. I think it's also especially helpful for new mechanics or new car technicians because they have support based in the US and of that app feature where it can show you the predictive things or this is most likely going to be the repair and here's the part for it. Most tools, bi-directional tools that I have tested don't have that because they assume that the mechanic that's using them has the knowledge and has the time to go and look for it. But this tool will also be a good solution for experienced mechanics that don't need a fancy touchscreen and don't need a full-size tablet with bi-directional capabilities. If you just want to be able to activate components on your car and have bi-directional capability and a smaller package and a lower price point, then this is going to work out just fine. So remember, I put a link in the description down below to the Innova 5610 in case you guys want to get one. And if you guys have any other questions regarding this tool, please put that in the comments also. And if you found any part of this video helpful, hit the thumbs up button to support the channel and stay tuned as I have a lot more OBD2 scanner reviews coming up. Thank you guys for watching, and as always, I'll see you on the next one.